This is also an important time to remember who these girls were. Abby and Libby were best friends who went for a hike on the Monon High Bridge when they were killed. People around Delphi, the country, and even the world have seen their story now and hoped all along with their families for justice. In February of 2017, the girls were both in the eighth grade at Delphi Community Middle School. Abby was 13. She was on the volleyball team, played saxophone in the band, and attended church with her family. She loved reading, camping, and swimming. Libby was 14 years old. She enjoyed volleyball, softball, soccer, and swimming. Libby was in the band as well and participated in the academic bowl. She also enjoyed arts and crafts. People living in Delphi are also taking steps now to make sure the teenagers are not forgotten. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli shares more on Abby and Libby and how the community has embraced their memory while paying it forward. Over the last more than five years, the memorials around the city to honor Abby and Libby include more than just the ones where you can come and physically place items. People have also done so many acts of kindness in their honor. It's a reminder that they're, they were here. Two girls just 13 and 14 years old. Best friends with so much they were looking forward to, only to have it all taken away. I remember my mom, she said she was on the search party to help find the girls. and. She came home, we came from school, it was, it was Valentine's Day, and we didn't really understand. I just remember being scared because I didn't know what it meant. Through tears and unimaginable tragedy, people around the world got a glimpse of something beautiful. That is who Abby Williams and Libby German were. Whenever she came to our house, she would always like play sports with us and stuff, and it was really fun. Maddie Brown is several years younger than Abby, but says they spent time together as children. She was so funny. She like said how she fell for deck one time, and it was really funny. Like Abby, we've come to learn that Libby was always trying to make people laugh. The community has worked to carry on what both girls embodied by helping others in their honor, like children in need. There's Abby's Angels, which is like boxes that went to Africa and stuff. But also through projects like the Abby and Libby Memorial Park, an effort spearheaded by loved ones of both girls. And maybe they found that in their grief um, to, to never give up and to never quit. The complex honors their shared love for sports, the outdoors, and the arts. Both girls played saxophone in the school band and were athletes. I mean, they have, have built softball fields, you know, to bring awareness to their children. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing um, that, that they are just so strong. Even as the memories of Abby and Libby seem further away, residents say their presence will be everlasting in this community. In the school, there's like all these posters honoring them and stuff, and we always see it like everywhere. Reporting in Delphi, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.